Hey then, John, thanks. The clock is ticking for Congress to finalize spending bills, and with a lot of fighting among House Republicans, it has been slow to move those bills forward. But today, Republicans announced an agreement has been made. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent, Rachel Knapp, joins us live from the U.S. Capitol with more on this. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening, Mike and Eva. So in today's House Republican press conference, you can just feel how frustrated some of these House Republicans are with their own colleagues for making some of these negotiations very difficult and trying to get these spending bills through. But some of these House Republicans have a plan they believe and hopefully they say will move forward with. Now, so their plan is to pass a short term continuing resolution that keeps funding the government until they can all come to an agreement on these spending bills. In this short term CR, it would cut more spending for federal agencies and implement Trump-era border initiatives. This comes at a time where leaders in both chambers say a short-term measure is needed to keep the government up and running after the September 30th deadline. A handful of far-right Republicans have pushed back the idea of a short-term measure, which has kept these bills from moving forward. Today, you could just feel the frustration among some Republicans. This is the most conservative CR ever put forward. And for some of my colleagues to walk away from continuing to fund government, from securing the border, from cutting spending, and for protecting our vets is a mistake. If my conservative colleagues want to vote against that, go explain that. Go explain that you're voting against a 30-day 8% cut to the federal bureaucracy while having a piece of legislation attached to it that is the strongest border legislation ever passed, and it was passed out of this House Republican conference. Mike and Eva, it's unclear if this will move out of the House, and if it does move out of, a how, out of the House, it's unclear how it'll do in the Senate. But again, Congress just has such a short amount of time to finalize these important spending bills. Mike, Eva, back to you.